Okay, so now uh, here's another video, brief video on uh, identification of microcomponents. Um, this is Samsung Epic that has been totally disassembled, and uh, again, if you have not been keeping up with our um, disassembly videos, which was in the first section, please uh, stop this video right now and go back and watch those videos because that's the absolute most important, uh, well, at least the, the first step that you need to be familiar with. Well, uh, if you have, then once again, this is the uh, Samsung Galaxy Epic that has already been disassembled. And now that we've disassembled it, we're going to just identify some of the micro parts that are on uh, the main board and uh, on the frame and the housing and whatnot. So, this was on uh, the frame, the sliding part of the frame of the Galaxy S3. Um, as you notice, there are uh, there's one flex right here, okay? If you can see that, there's one flex right there on the top, okay? Uh, that flex uh, is responsible for uh, the keypad, all the keypads. So if you have a customer who is pushing buttons and uh, and he just couldn't get anything uh, or one of the keys to respond, uh, it's going to be a nightmare to just dig this out and replace that entire key. So you're probably going to want to fix this entire flex uh, right here. So also attached to this flex uh, is this button, which I believe is the power button, okay, right there. Um, so that's uh, the power button. Yes, I believe that is the power button. Uh, and then here we have the uh, the camera button uh, right here. Okay. And then finally on this side we have the the volume keys right there. All right. And they all attach to one flex right here. So if this flex was cut, then already you know uh, what's not going to work, which is basically be your volume keys, your power keys, your camera keys, and uh, your keypad. And finally you have a, a microphone. Uh, this is the regular microphone on the bottom of the phone when you don't have it on loudspeaker. Uh, I mentioned in our other videos, most phones now have two mics. They have a regular mic and then they have a mic on top. Uh, in this case, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, let's see here, where is it? It's not here, uh, it's, it's on uh, another part of the phone, which, uh, which I'll show you. Um, but this, this has, uh, most phones again have two mics. This one's on the bottom, another one's usually somewhere on the top. And the top uh, microphone is for the loudspeaker. So. Uh, there will be cases, and here's a good way to test whether or not the microphone is not working or whether the phone is just screwed up. If someone comes in and says, hey, other people can't hear me, uh, there are two things you can do. You can put it on a Bluetooth uh, or uh, any other uh, hands-free device or even like a, a headset, uh, plug it in, and then try to talk to the other person and see if they can hear you or not. And if they can, then you know that your microphone's messed up. Another way you can test it is put it on loudspeaker. And if they can suddenly hear you now, now you know that uh, it is a microphone issue. Because if you put it on loudspeaker and you're talking to them and they can hear you, you're using your loudspeaker mic, which is located on top. And then if you put it back onto regular mode, uh, which is not loudspeaker, uh, then, and then all of a sudden they can't hear you, then you know that it's this microphone that's problematic. And then once again, uh, you're going to have to change this entire flex. Uh, so phones like these, uh, I don't really agree too much with the design. Because if any one of these components go wrong, you have to change the whole flex. Okay, so uh, let's also um, go over some other parts. This is the top uh, frame of the exact same phone. Uh, we have, as you see here, a uh, master flex which connects to uh, right here. A master flex that connects to the bottom. We're going to see uh, what all is on the bottom. So let's uh, take a look together really quickly. Uh, I'm going to take this apart. And uh, as you can see, this master flex is uh, connected to, let's see here, this master flex is connected right here, okay, through this area. I can lift this up and then remove the master flex, and the master flex is connected to uh, some more flex cables. Okay, so this is the master flex uh, right here, which eventually connects to the, the main board. Uh, but if we were to unplug this um, and take a look at uh, which other flex are connected, uh, we can see that the digitizer flex is connected right here, which responds to our touch. Uh, we have an integrated circuit chip uh, right here. Um, we also have, let's see, what is that? Uh, it looks like that's the front proximity sensor. Um, is, is that the front proximity sensor? I believe so. Yep, that's the front proximity sensor flex. Okay. Uh, and, there's, and we also have uh, the the front speaker as well and then here we have the front camera flex okay uh, and I think somewhere here we have uh, the loudspeaker microphone uh, let's take a look
Yep, uh, the, fr the microphone was connected to uh, the front camera, okay? So that's the front camera. And connected to the front camera, we have the loudspeaker microphone. So, as I mentioned, uh, there are always two microphones nowadays. Uh, one microphone is located on the bottom for the regular, and one another microphone is located for the top. Okay? Uh, and then, uh, finally, we're going to take a little peek at the uh, the main board and see what's what microphone is attached here. In this phone, we noticed that the... Uh, the head jack is actually attached to the motherboard and not somewhere on the bottom like the iPhone 5C or uh, on the top uh, like the Note 3 or whatnot. We also have the uh, the back camera that's connected via flex and we have the charging port uh, which is not connected via flex so if that needed to be repaired we would have to micro solder it or desolder it which you can find in all of our uh, solder videos. Okay, so uh, that's, the, uh, that's the main board. And uh, we also have uh, this huge, uh, connected via one flex right here, uh, we have this huge metal plate which can be removed, uh, which is responsible for the, the memory card insertion. So when you put the memory card in here, uh, it, it reads uh, via this area, and then it, it connects uh, via this flex cable, so your, your phone can now uh, read and understand uh, what kind of memory card that you've just inserted, okay? And uh, we also... I uh, have a bunch of uh, tiny micro components like the uh, resistors and, uh, and capacitors and whatnot. So uh, check out our other videos of uh, what a capacitor looks like uh, in our other micro uh, component videos. And at the end of this whole uh, course, you're going to also learn um, some theory, theory on what exactly these micro parts, these tiny micro parts are. Like, uh, like what, what in the world is a transistor, an inductor, or a capacitor? Uh, through an actual electrical engineer uh, and he's going to be doing that part in our theory section. Okay, so check that out and uh, that's that's it for the Galaxy Epic. Thanks.